Today, you're going to be watching from my head. Can we get up? Hey. Oh, we have a problem. And you do the same for the boys, except you put a ring on them. To issue a public service announcement. Release the skunk. <whistles> and lambs. Looks pretty good at the moment. I don't see any problems. I did pull a lamb in this paddock. I did post it as a short. I'll insert it here. So mum has got a stuck lamb in this situation. We just pull out the legs. There you go. Push, 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 push. There we go. There's bub. Bubby's alive. Sometimes you don't get to them quick enough and bub doesn't survive. But we're going to wait a couple of seconds just so she realises that bub is alive. I'm just going to drive away, do a lap around the paddock. Mum has sat up and bub looks all good so i am gonna drive away and leave them be been a good paddock overall i'm putting the window up because it's fucking cold apparently i've only got an hour's worth of recording on that sd card so you're gonna have to get a couple of these shots unfortunately for you no one's really heavily lambing at the moment so kind of just got to check for the couple of stragglers and the ones that are lambing earlier in the other mobs i've decided i'm gonna save my memory and battery for exciting events also i got a comment actually i got two comments saying that i people aren't can't understand me because of my accent let me know in the comments is that something you find secondly let me know where you're from so i can see a pattern i can subtitle my shorts no problem but there is no way i am subtitling a 10 minute video hello ma'am what are we doing what are we doing love unsure doesn't look like there's a problem but being a bit sketchy i don't like sketchy these are the two paddocks that are lambing now. They're both prime lines. They're both the same mob. These are the ones that have really small lambs that grow very quickly. That's an example of how teeny they are. Here's one that's just been born. Oh, look. The lambs were playing. I've disturbed them, but they were going rock climbing on a little adventure together. Typo's stank must have scared them. All right, come on, love. Get out of my... Get out of my crossing, please. There, we've got a berth. It all looks fine. The prime lines don't seem to need assistance as much as the crossbreds I have found. Just want to get a drive-by shot, hopefully, of this you that's birthing, just to show you that blood is normal during birth. Believe it or not, a lot of people were surprised that blood and shit were involved in birth. Yes, blood and shit is involved in the birth of most mammals. I don't know what more to say here. Some of the other prime line ewes are actually getting pregnancy scanned next week. Let me know if that's something you'd want to see in the vlog. I don't know, is that interesting? Some more sheep, nothing happening. These are the lambs that are going to be marked probably later today. For the most part, they've finished lambing. The ones that haven't lambed yet either won't lamb or are still a a um, little bit away. So, oh, this fucking sun. Where are my sunglasses? They're on my head. Fair enough. I didn't think this paddock had started lambing, but we do have a sketchy situation down here. All the uh, rest of the ewes are over here and she's over here by herself, which generally indicates she's giving birth or sick. We've had three. Three babies. We seem fine. All right. Or leave her be. Ma'am, are you good? Are you sunbathing? Or are you birthing? If you still, oh, 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 oh. I hope she's fine. Just having her morning coffee in the sun. Everyone else in here looks spectacular. Ladies, can we hop up please? I need to see those butts. Thank you, thank you. I know we're all having a sit, but we need to see those butts. Here, some more ladies over here. Can we hop up, please? Come on, up, up. Can we get up? There. Oh, we have a problem. So we've got a U that's prolapsed. What do we do? We can fix it. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting this up a U snatch. To be clear, I am not a vet. I called Liam for assistance because I quickly realized I can't put a harness on by myself. 
First of all, you disinfect the prolapse. So I did that while I was waiting. It needs to be clean or there's no point doing it. For that, we use betadine. As you'll see at the end, I got a bit carried away. She won't be getting an infection though. I think she might've had a little cut inside the prolapse. So I did make sure to give her a fair bit of betadine there to try and reduce any risk of infection. She will be monitored over the next few weeks. If we see her going downhill, obviously we'll give her antibiotics, but we don't like to jump the gun on antibiotics. Then we put the harness on. Janet, not me. For the purposes of the video, I've named her Janet. Say hi, Janet. We've tied it here and here so it doesn't tighten on her or and choke or restrict her movement. Then I've left these two parts here open so that can be clipped to the spoon, which will hold the spoon in. I gently put the prolapse back inside. This one was on the top wall. I'm actually very surprised she prolapsed because there's not a lot of grass in this paddock. I put the spoon in against the prolapse and try to keep it up the top of the vagina so she's able to lamb past it if we don't get quick enough. My sheep have and other sheep I've put this in have, so I assume it should be fine. We fasten the spoon and then let her go, which is when I turn the GoPro on. Looks like we're marking. Lamb's news must be in here. Dries must be over there. I'll stick my head thing on and we'll go do. So the yards just get hooked up to the ute and then it's gonna go around and pick them all up. Just had lunch and I'm heading back. We've got another mob to mark. So I'm assuming I'll have to go get the sheep because Slug's the only dog here. I need my jumper. I think I left it on the back of the ute. I hope it's still on the back of the ute. Yep. The rest of this afternoon's activities are on your shoulders, slug. No pressure though. Release the scuck. Great job, slug. You've done well. All right, there and now we just shut the gates and start marking. We'll have to catch a couple that have escaped through the fence. I've just got to head off, but we are done. Not sure on the exact count they'll work it out there um see you later crocodile I need to issue a public service announcement. That was brought to my attention that you are not supposed to roll sheep over over their backs. I thought that's what you're supposed to do. I've seen vets do it. I thought that was fine. Apparently it's not. Sheep can get bloat from it. So I apologize for that. Now I know not to do that. Thanks for those who have told me. You can stop telling me now. I know.